did not make them make them feel better about their problem. You see, we talk about uh, we talk about Holocaust, Holocaust. The whole world knows about it. We talk we talk about other genocide. The world talks about it. Somehow, history has tried their level best to uh, to sort of curb and to sort of suppress what the poor black Kashmiri families went through. But you are our hope, because as long as there is a person like you who will question, and with you are the millions of younger generation who you will inspire, because, because the governments can come and go, the establishments can come and go, and sort of not talk about it. Sometimes protecting your children is also an act of uh, hiding the history. So. Congratulations to your grandparents and congratulations to your parents for a brave daughter they have brought into this world. I know she is smiling because out of uh, awkwardness because she's, she did not think that I would praise her courage. She thought I was here to praise her writing. Writing to achai liga hoa. Sach ko likhne mein yaad karne ki zarurat nahi. Koi kala ki zarurat nahi hoti hai. Jab aadmi sach likhta hai, to wo apne aap mein kahani hoti hai. सच की कोई बुनियाद की जरूरत नहीं पड़ती है सच कुछ लफ्जों सच जो है वो लफ्जों का मोहताज नहीं होता है मेरी दादी एक कहानी सुनाती थी वो मुझे आज तक याद है तो आपने सच लिखा है और ये सच लोगों तक पहुंचाना बहुत जरूरी है तो मैं आपके करेज की आपकी जो ताकत जो आपने सोचा है और इस किताब को लोगों तक पहुँचाना अब मेरा काम because uh, with uh, because you i'm not telling your stories to the world i am telling your story and my story and everybody and millions of kashmiris all over the world their story to the world so congratulations and well done and uh, we will you have said take me home i don't know who have you asked to take you home and then you have asked me to take you home or pandit ji to take you home or deepak ji to take you home or your mom to take you home but there will be millions of people who will take you home and celebrate taking home is a very symbolic thing you know wo kehte hain ki ji isko genocide mat bolo isko bolo they are refugees in their own country or they are they are migrants how can you take away the smell of kashmir of the bones of books kept in the shelves my grandfather's mandir on the fourth floor in nai sadak you can give them the same place but you can't give them the same environment my mother still tells me do you think we will be able to go to kashmir but you not necessarily governments of course government will do their job but you and people like you and girls like you and the generation like you are giving me an optimistic look towards the whole thing thank you so much well done thank congratulations you. Anupam sir, also to maybe ask her a few questions, and then we'll open it up to the media. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll also uh, just about uh, finish the unveiling of the book, and then we will get into the. Uh, All those people who are watching us on the Zoom, and uh, congratulations to you also. You are part of this historical event, and also I must applaud uh, your your uh, Vitasta publishers for having the courage and conviction to uh, publish this book. That's very important. We among us have uh, the India director of Taj Hotels, Mr. Dilip Singh, and the general manager of this. I would also like him to join. And this unveiling. It's not planned, but he's a very dear friend. Of course. And uh, I'm very good to his my friends. Of course. And Susie, you know, Papi, I have to go here. I have to wear a dress shirt. Now, I have to wear a dress shirt. 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 I have to wear a dress shirt.
Right. Um, so I've always wanted to know more about Kashmir, but I've never really got the opportunity to know more about my Kashmiri Pandit roots. And the opportunity then finally came up um, for a school project. So there's something called the personal project that we do in the FYP. And you need to do something that's personal to you. And the only thing I could think of that I was curious about and that was personal to me was the Kashmiri Pandit um, exodus and the roots because I. I, and I was very passionate about it. So I knew that I would devote my 100% to it. And I remember having a conversation with my father, and I was 14 at this point. Um, and I was sitting with him and discussing some ideas. And you're 47 right now. No, I'm 16 now. So you were saying 14 as if you were <laughs> five, 10, 20 years back. Right. It wasn't that long ago. But I was sitting and having a conversation with my father about potential ideas for my personal project. And I said, what if I do something related to the Kashmiri Pandit exodus? And his expression just changed. He was shocked. He was like, oh, okay. He took some time to process it. And then he's like, what do you want to do about it? Like, why are you doing this? Because I don't think it ever struck him that this was something you could do something about. Um, unfortunately, his generation, I mean, they... The, the generation between, you know, my grandparents and my generation have been very devoted to, you know, sort of resettling after the exodus and working on, you know, becoming successful and establishing their lives and there's nothing wrong with that. But I always thought that we could have done more. Their generation and my generation. So I think that's where the entire idea came and then he liked it and then we took it forward from there. So did your grandparents talk about uh, what happened in Kashmir? Uh, did, did, were they talking about it in, at home? Initially, no. The, the entire, like my entire childhood, I'm still a child. For most of my childhood, no. Only when I started doing this and I told them I'm writing a book and I need you to be 100% honest. So till then you had no idea what was the history of your... No, no, no. I just knew we were from Kashmir and they had left because of some violence in Kashmir. The very basic. You know, I, I genuinely was very clueless and I understand why because it would reopen some wounds for them, like talking about... No, no, don't explain to me <laughs> what you understand. I'm just trying to understand. So you knew, you felt that there was some violence in the Kashmir or Chhod Ke Aage Yeah. Bahut sare riot areas maybe Chhod Ke Tale Aate Yeah. Bahut sare jilagaon pe jahan pe 
नेचुरल डिजास्टर होते हैं छोड़ के चले जाते हैं सो आपके लिए ये कहानी एंड दिस सब्जेक्ट वाज गिवन टू यू बाय द स्कूल पीपल और यू चोज इट आई चोज द कश्मीरी पंडित सो हाउ डिड यू दैट्स व्हाट आई वाज आस्किंग राइट सो um for the longest time i couldn't find um you know uh, my personal project idea and so i was googling you know how how do you find it and they're like think of your identity and the first thing that came to my mind about my identity was kashmiri but i didn't know anything after that what about kashmiri what more kuch pata hi nahi tha so that's when i was like you know what maybe i should do something about this because i don't know anything i know i'm a kashmiri but what does that mean what does that symbolize and so this was my journey of sort of understanding my kashmiri pandits roots simply because i just didn't know anything about them so what is the research that you did for to write this book how did that it's it's a fiction yeah, i it's not a fictitious book it's just a retelling of the story from my perspective so who did you interview to get the details of yeah. this so book? i interviewed practically all of the kashmiri pandits i knew i just wanted to get as much of a detailed understanding of the exodus as possible everybody story will be a little different but the underlying theme of you know just the hope of coming back home was shared throughout all of those people i interviewed so let's say most of those people not all most of the people that i interviewed and so i interviewed quite a lot of people and even ashok uncle to get you know a more uh, to get a better understanding of um, the exodus i remember we got to meet ashok uncle for the first time and i sat in that club and i pressed record on my phone and he just spoke for 2 hours and it how those two hours flew by i didn't even know because i was just so taken aback by everything that had happened um and so yeah i interviewed practically everybody i knew i interviewed a lot of members from my family friends people who my family knew you know abroad um so kashmiri pandit associations and you know um, just communities you know let's say in boston because i have some family there so i practically just to get a better understanding interviewed whoever i could find over the course of a few months and then you know my other research included just watching as many videos and reading as many articles about kashmir and its context and just try and absorb as much information as i can so then i can sort of filter out what exactly needs to be said and how it needs to be said so just get as much of a holistic understanding as possible so the author of the book you are just the father now <laughs> I'm just the MC. Ah, I'm sitting here. So, uh, does it make you angry when this story of Kashmiri pundits is 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 being suppressed and given it? Very recently, there was a uh, article in Hindi Daily, very well known Hindi Daily, where the author tried to sort of say, "Arey Kashmiri panditon mein to naukriyan thi, in there was a reference of me also there. Ki wo to he tries to give a false." Uh, Uh, perspective what this whole thing uh, does it anger you? It does because uh, you can't. It's actual trauma that people have been through. You can't try to simplify it or suppress it or say that it didn't happen because it is a very traumatic event. But also because I'm taking the stand, I know that I can't let those emotions get to me. I need to be calm and composed and always think about what I'm going to say and how I'm going to say it. especially you know right now so as much as i feel those emotions i try my best not to not let them get the best of me and to just try and look at it as objectively as possible so so can we have a chapter from you to read uh, about what you think very passionately about would you like to read something for us um okay just because i want everybody to read the book for themselves i shall read my preface for you so you get a better understanding of what this book truly is about um Then you can get from there. I thought you would see you will read my forward, <laughs> but it's okay. You want me to read it? No, 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 no. Sorry, I'm just it's your. Okay. So here it goes. Where are you from? It's a question I have been asked many times. Each time I answer Kashmir. The next question is usually about when I last visited Kashmir. Truth is, I've never been to Kashmir despite being a Kashmiri Pandit. I became more curious with the taking of the club. Why have I never been to Kashmir? Why do I have to hear stories of my homeland from other people? Why do I feel like something is missing? When I turned 14, I decided to set out on a journey of self-exploration, and this book is exactly that. An exploration of my family, my community, and my home. 
Learning more about the exodus and the true meaning of being Kashmiri Pandit inspired me to share my knowledge with others. Simply because nobody deserves to be a refugee in their own country. We all deserve to go and feel safe in our homes. Through this book, I hope you can understand the pain and the resilience of the Kashmiri Pandit community. We have been fighting the battle of our lives since 1990. I hope that you will understand the story of the exodus, its devastating impact, and the importance of unity. The community has needed the support of the rest of India since 1990. How heartbreaking is that? How heartbreaking is it that many people living in India do not know about the conflict that took place in their own country? They do not know about the suffering of Kashmir Pandits after the mass exodus, and they do not know the injustice the Kashmir Pandit community has faced and continues to face. I promise to do my part. The profits earned from this book will be used to fund the education of displaced Kashmir Pandit children. So do you promise to do your part? I hope you will help the community that has been neglected for the last three decades. A community that will only spread that has only spread love, kindness, and positivity despite having been treated unfairly, violently, and disrespectfully. Most of all, I hope the reader understands the importance of treating everyone equally at their kindness. Thank you. breaks my heart and so does it uh, break the heart of our people. I was going to your uh, introduction also. Once upon a time, there was an interview they have talked to an innocent six-year-old girl. Her entire life, she was told as a in that the state of Jammu and Kashmir was her home. Albeit, she did not know what that meant because she had never been there. So she asked a lot of questions. One day, that naive girl, unaware of the water she was treading, she was treading gathered the courage to go and ask her grandmother about her home. With complete confidence and certainty that one day she will go to Kashmir, the girl sat on the floor and asked her grandmother, who was sipping steaming kava, when will we go to Kashmir, Nani? Giving the young girl a cold stare as if in an attempt to hide her broken expression, the grandmother kept her kava aside, got up and walked away, leaving the girl more puzzled. This is a scenario, this is a scene which must have happened in all the Kashmiri people uh, homes. Uh, film is a great medium uh, of uh, home. Anything which reaches a lot larger audience. I'm sure we will try and make sure that this book reaches a lot of people. Do you have any plans of selling the uh, rights of this book for a film production? Um, I haven't thought of that much yet because I never expected this to be as big as it has become. So I'm asking but, you a question. Yes. Yeah. And you thought of that. Is I mean, you willing to? I would be willing to because. Would you please sell me the rights of this? <laughs> of course. So, um, I, as a production company, as uh, in front of one of my friends, want the rights of this book. And we will make a movie out of it. I have to follow my philosophy of life to Kuch Bhi Ho Sakta. And I have not planned, I swear I have not planned that before I come in here. But seeing your compassion and seeing your passion, I think if this story needs to go on screen. And you will have the choice to find the girl who can act that way. Thank you so then much. You do the casting of this girl. Thank you, Anushka. Thank you so much. And it's wonderful, uh, both of you and uh, people, grandparents and everybody. And uh, to millions of Kashmiris all over the world, there is always hope. Because we believe in hope. Because I feel hope is the heart of life. And we never want to give that up. None of us picked up guns. None of us indulged in any kind of act of terrorism. Because we believe in life and we believe in hope and we believe in Anushka Tar that someday somebody like her will write a book and someday somebody like me will want to make a film on that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. 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 आप मैंने देखा बहुत ही ध्यान से आप बुक देख रहे थे कि हम तो आप आते हैं कि 
कश्मीर कलितों के साथ में जो कुछ भी हुआ है और जो कुछ भी हुआ है और ढेर सारी फिल्में आनी चाहिए और इस बुक पर भी फिल्म बननी चाहिए ऐसा आपको पसंद नहीं है मैंने तो अभी बोला मैंने तो इसके राइट्स खरीद लिए खरीद नहीं लिए अभी तो मत ले लिए तो और अपने को 500 रुपए दे भी देता हूं
जो लोग कश्मीर से बिलोंग करते हैं उन्होंने थोड़ी आवाज उठाई अदरवाइज जो बॉलीवुड की बहुत सारी मुझे एक फिल्म बनाई थी शीन अगर आपकी बात सही है और अभी रिसेंटली मैंने जैसा कि कहा कि फिल्म में अपना जो कश्मीर फाइल्स उसमें काम किया बट मुझे जब दुनिया मतलब देश के दुनिया के देश के लोग इस प्लान को छुपाने की कोशिश कर रहे तो फिर कभी कभी कहते हैं कोई बात नहीं कुछ चीज़ें देर से बनती हैं अब ये जनरेशन वो है दिखा रही है उम्मीद दिखा रही है तो कुछ चीज़ें नहीं होती हैं तो उनका टाइम निकलता है बट एज लॉन्ग एज देर आर पीपल लाइक मी अदर पीपल आवाज तो हमने पूरी जिंदगी उठाई है जैसे बीस साल से आवाज तो उठाते हैं हम बाकी दिन ट्रेंड पहले ना पहले लेकिन उन्नीस जनवरी उनको हम हमेशा ट्रेंड करते हैं और हम कोशिश करते हैं हम हम इस जख्म को भरने नहीं देंगे हम इसको हर खोलते रहेंगे इसको रेखते रहेंगे चाहे हम तकलीफ हो दर्द हो लेकिन कुछ जख्मों को खुला रखना बहुत जरूरी है दुनिया को दिखाना बहुत जरूरी है बस बेटा आज की आज की सवाल यही समाप्त करनी चाहिए बिकॉज अभी सवाल आप इधर उधर करते चले जाएंगे yes, <coughs> अगर किताब से जरूर जुड़ा हुआ तो जरूर
um, they tend to normalize the trauma that they have been through. And I think just conveying the gravity itself of the issue because people don't understand it. They automatically overlook it. It's almost become an instinct now. He, this happened, okay, fine. But so I think just getting people to understand that this happened and it happened with such intensity, like the magnitude of this event um, itself, I think that was um, a challenge for me. And another challenge for me, I guess, would have been um, researching because there are so many sources, there are so many people who say different things. So, um, and I wanted to capture the Kashmir from the perspective, so we have to go on and on and on about people talking about different perspectives. So I think just looking or finding the sources that would body and accurately convey the Kashmir from the uh, perspective. So, sir, the next question is to you. Um, are there any stories, so basically stories in books have the power to influence any of the other person. What are some of the books that have made an impact on you? Oh, plenty. I, um, I can proudly say that, that unfortunately I've stopped reading now since this, uh, I got classes which was about 14 years back. Uh, so, some of them are may as a particular as a professor, but I have a collection of 14,000 books. Uh, personal connection. Unfortunately, in 2005, when the floods came, the whole library went to uh, Lust for Life, Vince Langbaugh's story uh, during uh, during my struggle days was a very important book for me. There's another another book by a uh, Russian author called Nikolai Ostrovsky. The book was uh, called How the Steel Was Tempered. Uh, Charlie Chaplin's autobiography was very, very important. The Munchi Prinsham Prinsham Ji Ki Kaniya, Chekhov Ki Kaniya. Well, Padne Se, uh, after the horizon padta hai. Jase, ek andheri raat mein, ek kale koot wala aadmi, ek niche, ek lep ke niche pada hua, aur usne ek sigar shul gai. Ye kahani aapne kitab mein padhiya lai. Har ek ki, raat alag hogi, har ek ka, Lamp alag hoga, kale kota alag hoga. But the moment you see it on television, it will be much personified also. So it has books have helped me a lot as an actor, and I, I love to read as much as I can. And I used to pick up books from uh, all those jo piche, jo sadak pe lagti hai. I've got my best collection of books from Darya Gand me jo piche baza karta. Do you plan on writing any fiction books in the future? Not Uje, Uje, Uje fiction, uh, I don't, I'm not trained into sort of writer. I'm not a writer by, my, by profession or by any of these things. I can't write books which I have not experienced. So the books that I wrote are the <coughs> books uh, that came from within me. Yes. I think we should now, uh, I should, uh, without the MC, I can enter the closer. Thank you very much, Vince. Do you want to say something? Um, I just like to, like to thank everyone for coming. And I'd like to thank you and the show for, for supporting me and being here. Thank and you so Can I much. announce the lunch <laughs> <laughs> The lunch is really my <laughs> friends. Heat it. 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 Heat it.